just had the shits and she got out of bed this morning and drove me insane. I reckon you'd be better off going out looking in the drawers and finding my glasses. Well, you know me, I never put them away. I just leave them on a bench somewhere, don't I? You leave them anywhere. They're usually here, there or anywhere. Men. It was almost Christmas, you know, the time of goodwill to all men, but it wasn't quite like that in our family. Paul was still fighting with Mum and Laurie. He's just raging on that, he, you know, we don't make him feel comfortable when he comes here. What is he doing so he said about? he'll come around on Christmas Day and knock on the door, give us our presents and go, I don't want presents. We, that was the whole idea this year. We told him that, no presents, he can't afford it. He needs every penny he can get. No point in inviting them to the barbecue because it's going to start all over again. I just, mm. I'd rather just walk away from the. Well, what's his problem? Why is he, why is he like that? What's his know. trouble now? I don't know. You were very upset. You just didn't want to speak to Paul at that time. I mean, that's you know, nothing wrong with that. How does he? What does he expect you to just go to bed and forget about it? What he said. He said to me, "Don't forget you've got children." Oh God! You don't get a chance to forget. <laughs> that's for sure. Go out and play. Uh, Where can I go out and play, Mum? Done all my housework. I fell down the back stairs <laughs> carrying a load of washing. Whose washing was it? All of Paul's washing. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell over and I scraped all my leg there and hurt my foot and I broke a bone in my foot. It's all right because Paul's on holidays and he's going to pamper me. Three weeks out of my holidays. Oh no. Why? What did I do? Why hit me? <laughs> Paul's mum wants us to save for a house, and I understand, you know, her point of view, but it's impossible. You can't, you can't put away $50 a week when you've only got $60 a fortnight to live on. You can't do it. There's just no possible way that you can do it. They sort of made it clear that they were going to lend us some money as a deposit on a house, and when we went there with what we were going to do about the house, um, we got laughed at. It wasn't right for us, but just being laughed at by a man who's not my father, you know, it was really, for him um, to laugh at me degrading. and discipline me, it it's very hard to cope with because he's not my father. Hello, it's Mum here, dear. How are you? Is Dion there? I'm just ringing to see how she is. How is she? Yes? Eh? <laughs> I'm not really... Oh, I suppose I... Yes, I am lonely. Yes. Are you? Oh, well, that's good. Is Dion there, dear? Thank you. You're still not talking to me. Me shutting my mouth and controlling my um, inner feelings could stop a few fights, I think. You now, all I want to do is just mend the, um, the fight we've had just recently. So I'm just staying away and stuff like that. And like, she wants to be happy with Laurie, you know? It's not, a, it's not our, us kids to say, you can't be happy with that man, because she's got her own life, you know? It's, it's taken me a long time to realise that, but I realise it. Listen, yes. how would you like Yes. put your shoes on? Yes. We'll take out this little bottom bar just opened up. Oh, what a lovely four people standing having a little drink in the bottom bar. Would you like to stroll up there? I'll put the fishing off till tomorrow morning. All right. All right, I'll come out with you. It's off the back of the boat here. Okay. Sort of give a look at the size. I think that's about the size. We're doing okay. This time, three months no, ago, in my, gully. my wages were doubled what I get now, and lorries were too, and you live to no that amount of money. Here? Taking home 770 against 1,200 in the hand. 
big difference. Once you've got your own business, you could never go back to If you said to me, tomorrow, Nolene, you don't work again. You're a millionaires. You don't have to work anymore. I would be frightened. I would be frightened. I couldn't stand just doing this. Getting off a boat, eating the lobster, eating the pork. Oh, I could. I would oh, love no it. Way. <laughs> no way. No way in the world. No way in the world. To me, it'd be wonderful to think. I do not have to do that ever again in my life. So what are you going to do? Travel around the world. Right. You've done that. What are you going to do next? I don't care. I'd play it by ear then. If I had enough money behind me, I would then just do what I wanted to do. Whatever came next. Whatever was no, happening, whatever no I wanted to do. No way in the world. To not have a boss I could not tell see you myself. abuse you at work if you make a mistake. Do this, do that. You're half an hour late. This is wrong, that's wrong. What would you do? I'd go to work tomorrow morning. Yes, but then you would think after a while, oh, we might go for a trip to someone. No, so no. If I didn't have to have any worries. And you didn't have to have any worries. And we could just just go away for a month. And it, it wouldn't matter if we were away for a month or two months. Or I think it's I mean, it's human nature. Dream. Everybody it's everyone's dream. Dream. No. If I I want a million. I put thirty thousand in my hands and our hands and say, Rorio, what do you want? You wouldn't get much of thirty million. Even though a vet's not a blood relative, it doesn't matter. She's still pretty close to everybody, especially Mum and Laurie. Things that's made them successful, I'd say Nolene's very business orientated. Um, She's got a firm hand. She knows she's very good at, with business dealings and she gets straight to the point. She won't muck around about what she wants. Um, Laurie, he's also very business minded too, um, very firm handed. Um, so I suppose when you put them both together, you've got very firm hands. <laughs> and then we'll put the little top on the Christmas tree right, okay. and that will cover up all the... You know what everyone's going to say all Christmas? You've got that stuff on. Look, they can say what they like. This is our Christmas. Doesn't go, I don't. Our Christmas tree, we do it the way we want to do it. Look at that. Absolutely bright. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now, you're going to make me a drink before we yes. go to the club? Yeah, I'll make oh, a quick boy. Drink. Hitch it up on this side, hun, because this, this side's right in the corner and that side's a bit far out. See? But now all the gold bits are all hanging out. You'll have to pull it down a little bit in the middle. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I want a couple of strong fellows to give me a lift shortly. I know now you mean to done. say I am not going to fall in the water? No, you won't tip off that. It won't fall over. I've got to go back up and pick up the logbooks. The blood that's got them hasn't, wasn't there, but it's all, they've registered and everything for us. I don't suppose there's any fuel in it, is there? Oh, they've registered. I'd say they've protested and everything. It should have. Right. I just rang the own. Yeah. And Paul answered the phone. And I said, oh. Could I speak to Dion, please? He said, who was it? I said, your papa. Didn't he know who it was? <laughs> it was the same old argument about money. Paul eventually cracked and rang up. Sweetie. Sweetie, kill it. Don't keep talking about it. It's over. I would like you to apologise to Laurie. Of course it does. If we give you money, it's half his money. Now, do you wish to speak to him and apologise, or are you going to keep this going? It's Paul, is it? Hello? Yes, mate. That's all right. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, mate, that's for sure. As far as I'm concerned, it bygones be bygones, that's for sure. OK, mate. See you then. Ta-da. Bye-bye. I think he hung up. Did you want to speak to him? Sorry. Well, I think it's the only time I had a drink. Yeah. It's Christmas Eve, and I still haven't had the baby yet. And I've had enough. Now I'm going to get it out. Everyone's happy and looking forward to Christmas, and it's good to see. It's about time. I was like a boat taking What do you want for 1992, Paul? Hey? What do you want for 1992? At the end of the year, I'd like a house. I want to have enough money for a house. That's all I want. So if you're going to give me anything, just marry me. So I can save it. We're not talking about house. Christmas, Paul. We're talking about what do you want from the year? For, in 1992. I want the baby born in January. Early January. 
and I want it to be all healthy, that's all. When that baby's out, I just want to see it nice and healthy, no problems, and I'll be happy. Mm. That's all. And? And possum to be healthy as well, you know? No complications. And? Get married, yeah. Good. Don't forget it. Sorry, possum. <laughs> In Sylvania waters, Santa has a totally different way of arriving. See, he'll come on a boat and give us lollies and we'll chuck him six packs of beer. This was my first Christmas away from home. I thought I'd be homesick, but I was having too much of a good time. Yes, yes, We've seen everything now. We've seen everything now. God help us today. Mm. Oh, he's gone again. <laughs> Can you remember me in your toilet? I thought I was going to be sick. There you go, girls. Christmas time. Get into that. It'll put ears on your chest. I don't have any blow-ups with Laurie's children. I only have them with my children. That's the hardest part, is that Laurie's children just come in here, they don't make any noise, no bother, no nothing. And yet my children seem to make all the scenes. I don't know what I've done. I don't know what I've done wrong. Revolting little man. It's not really good after a night like I had last night, I can tell you. Like that. Oh, no, I mean, tends to, in my mind, she tends to be, uh, she'll exaggerate. She'll, someone will tell her something or she'll hear something and I'll hear her telling someone else the story and she does exaggerate. It'll be changed if it's not, if it was three people run over, it'll be ten people will run over. Um... <laughs> Hey, Merry Mom. Christmas, darling. Merry Christmas. Having a nice day? Yeah, that's good. Good surf this morning. Good surf this morning, that's good. Hi. Really? Oh, that's a good day. Yes. Merry Christmas, Laurie. Yeah, mate. How are you? Cheers, mate. And what did you get for Christmas? Uh, a T-shirt, two surfing videos. Yeah. Uh, I didn't, it's not I, we got a blender. Oh, yeah. Right. Electric can opener. You I've got perfume, a bag, a bracelet, a mink puppet. One of Pop Mum's friends just came back from China and bought herself a, a mink coat, and they got a mink puppet. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's real fun. Yeah, I won't say no. We watched that Silence of the Lambs last night, and I woke yeah. up at two o'clock this morning. I we watched it. You know how Hannibal doesn't get caught? I didn't find it that scary. What about the blood that was the people the bottom that was getting the black skin in the people's face? Yeah, it's, it's a bit silly the ending of it. Was it was it wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Oh, I had a dream that. that like the last thing the you hear him say is I'm going to eat the food for dinner. Oh. The end of it just ended it stupid. Dinner. It turned into nothing at the end. The bloke just walked away. I, I can understand it. The bloke that was a psychic bloke in jail yes. was telling them what yes. was going to happen. But I mean that other one is, is, looks like it's worse than that. The uh, misery one, where the woman oh, yes. breaks and smashes up the bloke's legs. While I get it, don't pull me. No. While I get it round, I can step on it. Hang on, grab me. Yep, gotcha. You got me. Ah! Ah! I'm trying to save the milk. <laughs> the thing in me back. <laughs> do you want to put this on? Yeah. Give me a so what do I get to sit in? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I'll just go up and steal one of Michael's t-shirts. Right up. Now, if I lean... Alan's up there throwing things. You lean with me, right? Right. Right. Okay. right. Push away. Right. 
Crikey. That's a real McCoy. Are they gold plated? I can't oh. use them. And we have to eat off them. I'm not. Oh. <laughs> I might break one. You got I can't any plastic them. cutlery? <laughs> I don't want to leave a teeth mark. Well done, Mum. Paul does nothing but try to get angry. I'm sure at times he comes here holding a red flag in front of his nose. The moment he comes through our front door, it's off. It's, you know, whenever we have a fight, it's always the next day he phones me and says, look what you've got, look what you've got. But it didn't just, we didn't just go out and buy it. We built it. God, I've done the best for my kids. All the children can have what we have. But they make it very difficult in my position here. We're very limited to money, but um, you can't get children to understand this. They've got plenty of toys around. Um, I, don't, I don't think they'd be strapped for cash, but, you know, I don't, they might need it. They might have a, a bill or something like that, tax or something like that. You don't know. Um, they never seem to be that strapped for cash. They've always, you know... Always got some in reserve. I shouldn't have to pay my children to love me, and I'm not going to. I'm just not going to anymore, at all. If I lose them all, that's the way it's got to be. It's the way it's got to be. What are you doing on purpose? Come here. Stand here. Stand here. I have every reason to love my children. I have every reason to love Laurie's children. Cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry At Christmas. times, I would have to be the loneliest person on this earth. Lock it in. Yep. Cheers. Lock it in. Go right. Yeah, that's nice champagne. It's beautiful champagne. Laurie, come over here. I don't normally like that much on champagne. It's got rather this a nice taste. cranberry case. sauce. You know, and that solid silver thing there. Is it? That yes. Nice. Beans. Doesn't matter. How's Herky? Who? Herky the turkey. Beautiful. Is he fine? Herky? Well, I don't know what she's going. What's she talking about? <laughs> Thank you for last year. Yes. Thank you for coming. I'm sorry that we have to leave. It's all right. We'll be back. We'll be back. They won't go we'll come away. come back for sure. <laughs> and if we don't come back, we'll give you a ring, but we'll be back. All right. We'll be back. All right, right my dear. Christmas all right. Yeah. Take okay. care. Have, have a nice day. Have a nice birthday yeah. present. Love it. All right? Yes. Thank you. Right. See you at 5.30. Yeah. See you. See you, Mum. Bye-bye, darling. <laughs> Off for another lunch, babe. Another crazy lunch. Yep. Maybe I've trained my children to, to talk openly. Perhaps I've trained them wrong. Perhaps I have said to them, be honest, open up, tell people your problems. Well, they bottle them up and then tell them all to you in half an hour. And then as a mother, you can't understand it. Perhaps the day I die is the day that I realise that I did a good job on my children. They're going to be fine. That's all I hope for. That they're going to be okay. Got him. The stop buttons on your right, left hand, the bottom. That's it. Aim for here. Turn it a bit. It's all right, it's all right. Don't, don't, don't worry about the dinghy. Reverse the reverse. Reverse lights. Put in the reverse. Oh, 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 oh,
I like the way she speaks. She sounds like a little She sounds like a little bit of He's not in as good a shape as what he really thinks he is. Exactly right. He doesn't exercise much. He drinks a bit of grog. He's got some tits. So, you know, a bloke with tits is, to me, it's, it's not really healthy to have so much weight, like tits around your heart, because, you know, all that's congested in your heart, in my view. I'm not a doctor or anything. Joanne give her four cans. They give two cans of dog food this morning. She had half, half a litre of milk, chocolate milk. Oh, Plus sick. the turkey and that. That's why she's crook. She just can't. It's too rich for her. While all this was happening, I was playing rugby in England. I did what thousands of people do on Christmas Day and rang my mum. She gave me some free medical advice. You've got a very bad cold. Go and get some Actifid CC. Are you all right? Good. I got, uh, we got the jet bike. Yes, beautiful. <laughs> Everyone's here. Paul and uh, Dion's here. Dion still hasn't had the baby. Joanne came for lunch. Auntie Annette's here. Everyone's here. In, in fact, I'll quickly pass you around to say hello. Yvette's next. Hang on. Hi, how are you? Reverse charge or what's the... Stand there and you can say it. Yes. Just quickly say hello. It's coughing. Yeah, he's got... Oh. Snow in Ireland? Not snowing, yeah, yeah, fair enough. Meet any nice girly? Oh, you'll have to tell us about it when you get home. <laughs> Say, I love you, Michael. He's already done it. Thank have you been over the stage yet? Yeah. Daddy, nice women on the beach over there. Hey, Mike, how are you going? She's got three. Good, three mate, you're winning or what? I love you so much. <laughs> you're not crying, are you? You're not crying. I'm not. I'm not. I love you. Bye, darling. Bye. Bye. No, I take your glasses off. I'm not crying either. Have a listen to this. It's a Kenworth. Oh, yeah. Listen to this. Darling. Listen to the idol, mate. It sounds like a bloody Genworth or a diesel. You back it up. And listen to the air brakes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, listen when it goes forward. Goes forward, stops, air brakes. The average man would have a dozen male, male friends. You could count lorries on half a hand. I think it's because they work him out. He's never, never, you will never get Laurie in 24 hours, the same person. Earrings down there, chains and that. Iron Maiden t-shirts, cigarettes stuffed up his sleeves. They live next door, that's the mob. That's the mob next door. It's Boxing Day. That means the start of the Sydney to Hobart yacht race. Everybody goes up to the harbour, including Mum and Laurie, to show off their boats and have a good time. You might say that we're millionaires, fine, but that's only on paper. What we have, that's all we have. We sold our business tomorrow, two million dollars. The big white hull one, that'll be a racer. And have a name on the side. Ice Fire. Fire. You look around for the Navy boat, the warship, and that's the one that starts the race. When the gun goes off, the race is started. I'm a New Zealander, but today I'm very proud to be in Australia. The hills, the boats, the yachts, love it. Fantastic day. I'm so bloody glad 1991's over. Oh, yeah, it's the worst year of my life. Understand me. Understand me. Understand me. Very hard little lady to understand. Learn what's inside of me. Understand 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 me. Understand
seeing what's inside of me. This one, I think I know. Oh, I have not into big New Year's Eve. It's just like another day. It's not like Christmas or something. We just wait for just, just another reason to get drunk, that's all. It's just another day. I don't think I've ever had a really big New Year's Eve. Mine's a bit pink. Appreciate it. Well, no, I don't want to play scattered no. Pictionary. No. We've okay. often discussed it. We'd love to have a little baby. Oh, years ago. 13 years ago. It's no, right you're now. still young enough to have a oh, baby. Bullshit. You're young enough to have a baby. Oh, I'm having babies. You'd love to. You could cope with it better now than you could ever cope with it. I'll ask you a question. Would you come into the theatre while I was having your baby? Not a place I, for a man I, to be while I like no, having that. No, nor do I. Yeah, I'll try. But I'm, just, I'm giving him an off the... Last place in the world a person would want to be while a woman's having a baby is yeah. beside her. I can think of nothing worse than oh, physically having a baby. Yeah. That's a woman's... Unfortunately, it's a woman's... Yeah. Has to have it. And I think it's the worst thing in the world. And those other things you have, that's even worse still. It's ridiculous. It's not. It is ridiculous. I mean, I think, it's, I think it's much better to have you're a baby grandfather. when you're younger. You are a grandfather. You're not only feeling in my late 20s. Yeah, what you bloody feel, the woman. Well, in my early 20s. The woman you're what with is in her when 40s. You're if she's capable of having a child, but then she wanted I'm to not, have it. I've been to the bed, I've been don't. fixed up, I've been de-sexed. <laughs> what do you mean you don't? I am de-sexed woman. Well, we go, I am de-sexed. In this day and age, you you don't, people don't do the normal thing, Dawn. They keep ramming it down your throat. It's got nothing to do with your body. You look very sexy tonight, actually. Come over here, Patrick. Well, slip down a cot and make a baby no, very quick smart with you. I reckon had you and I been married at six years, we would have had... Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Happy New Year! Hey, come on! Oh, 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 you go to the Happy New Year! December 1991. Well, that's the end of 1991. It's been an up and down kind of year. I don't know what 1992 will bring, but at least I know it'll bring Dion's baby.